What's up, you guys? Godzilla Fan Freaks coming at you today with another figure review. And today's figure review is on the NECA Viper Predator figure. As a lot of you know, and you know, I've been trying to hammer down on my Predator collection because Predator is another uh, franchise that I do love. So, um, you know, the only figure I really had up until a little while ago was just the NECA Wasp Predator, which I did that review a while back. Then, as you saw on my birthday, I got the Hot Toys Celtic Predator from AVP. And I've just been picking up a few other NECAs, you know, down the road, and I got a few other things for my birthday for my friends that I'll be reviewing in the future. But, let's get on to the NECA Viper Predator. First off, with paint scheme for his skin is, uh, you know, very nice uh, mixture of colors. He definitely uh, stands out from other Predators in any other collection. Uh, they tend to make the NECA Predators, you know, different color schemes depending on what type of Predators they are, uh, which is nice. You know, they all just don't have the same, you know, color scheme for their skin. So each one does stand uh, different and they do look vibrant on a shelf. But uh, for his main colors, he does, on his front part of his body here, he kind of does have, a, you know, kind of like a normal Caucasian, uh, Caucasian you know, whitish type skin mixed in with some reds and some oranges. And then on the back part of his body, it is pretty much just all that reddish orange color, which is very nice. On his head, he's got, you know, the same type of uh, kind of white Caucasian color with blacks and the reddish oranges mixed in. And then, of course, on his skin, they also gave him, a, um, you know, a glossy look, you know, to where he looks very, you know, alien and slimy looking. So uh, that's really nice. Uh, on his hands, you got some black for his, uh, you know, fingernails and his gloves that he has on. Uh, for all his armor pieces and, um, you know, flat pieces, uh, pretty much just all kind of like a gunmetal color with little hints of rust here and there, not too much. Uh, his dreadlocks are, of course, all black with little gold jewelry running in them. Then, of course, he has his dual blades on both hands, which is uh, new. You don't really see this too much on the Predators uh, themselves. They usually just have them on the one arm, but this guy has them on both, kind of like in the AVP game that came out a couple years back. But um, those are not a normal silver color. They're actually this red color, which at first I thought it was blood, but... It was too smooth and too complete all over the blades, so I think the blades themselves are just red for reasons you know I don't know, but that's just what they went with. Of course, his tusks and his teeth are a nice kind of like dirty ivory white, and then of course the inside of his mouth as well as kind of like on the inside part of the mandibles is a very nice pink. So that about does it for color scheme on his body. You know, of course, the netting and stuff that's etched, etched into the sculpt is black and everything. But, um, you know, black, black nails on his feet. But other than that, you know, very nice paint scheme all the way around with this Predator. Next on for detail. Detail's really good. NECA really doesn't let anything, uh, you know, slide too much on these NECA Predators. The face sculpts, whether they have the masks on or off, are always superb. Uh, and they never really miss anything very much. The eyes, even though the eyes are kind of deep in the face and everything, they are very nicely well done. Um, you know, all the detailing in the teeth and the mandibles, um, all the detailing on the top of the head, especially with the paint scheme with like the diamond shapes on his head and everything like that, that's very nicely done. All the dreadlocks are, you know, individual pieces. Sometimes when you get the NECA Predators, some dreadlocks are kind of stuck together, but you can pull them apart and that gives them more of an individual feel to them and everything like that. So all the dreads are very nicely done. Uh, you know, the plasma caster and all the armor pieces and everything, very, very nicely well detailed and such. Uh, you know, the dual blades on each hand, very nicely well done and sculpted. Uh, you know, all the hands that he comes with, because he comes with several different pieces of hand, you know, several different types, a couple different types of hands. Those are all very nicely detailed and sculpted. Um, just all the way around, just very nice detail all the way around. I do like how they etch the netting into the sculpt on the Predator figures and, uh, you know, just paint the netting and everything like that. That's a very neat um, technique to do with these figures. Overall, very nicely well done, I must say, for detail-wise. 
Now, uh, moving on to articulation next, uh, he has, you know, very basic, you know, articulation for any of these predator figures, if you own one or if you've seen reviews on them before. Uh, you know, he can look left, he can look right, he can look down, he can look uh, kind of not really up, just kind of like straight ahead. Um, of course, both of his arms have joints up here at the shoulders that you can move forward and back and outwards and inwards. He does have some elbow joint nice going on there, as well as, you know, a pivot swivel. And then, of course, his wrists are on a, you know, a nice little ball joint, so you can get all different kinds of movements out of those. The blades on both arms on this guy go in and out, like so. <clears throat> the only thing I want to complain about with the NECA... Sorry, that was someone's phone behind me whistling. But uh, the only complaint I have about with the uh, NECA Predators is I wish... This guy doesn't have one because he has both uh, you know, blades on each wrist, but I'll make a note of it anyway. Um, the Predators always have the, you know, self-destruct, you know, wrist gauntlet piece. And um, I kind of wish that on the neck of Predators, I kind of wish they made a little hinge joint to where you can open and close that. It's it's not something that's a big deal, but it could go a long ways for fans, I want to say. That would, that would be kind of cool. But, um, you know, again, this guy doesn't have, you know, that wrist gauntlet because he has both the blades on each arm. But it is what it is. Um, before I get too low here, he also does have the plasma caster, which is on a nice little ball joint, so you can get it to look in all different sorts of directions, move forward and backward, all different kinds of poses for the plasma caster. And the plasma caster is removable. You can take it off of him if you want. Uh, he does have a waist, or yeah, you know, pretty much a waist joint to where you can twist his body left or right. The joints on the legs are simple. They go forward, they go backward, and they go outwards like so. Very nice double jointed knees. Very nice double jointed knees. And then just a little bit of an ankle, you know, articulation down here. You can get his you can get his feet to turn side to side and kind of pivot a little bit. Not too much going on there for articulation on the ankles, but it gets by. Does the he does stand relatively well. As you can see, I just moved him all over the place, you know, even though I just moved the one leg, but it's like, look how quickly I got him to just stand up. I didn't have to really mess with him too much. So uh, the neck of Predator figures, they also do have very good balance-wise. So no problem getting them to stand up. Now I'm going to go over his accessories. Now, like I said, he did come with a couple, uh, couple different pairs of hands. The hands that he has on, um, I think this was the hand that he came with, and then he also had... Uh, you know, the other the other hand was also this way, but I actually have his other hand with another predator in mind because I wanted a predator to kind of, one of the other predators I have to kind of have a gripping hand of some sort. Um, even, you know, so I don't have that other hand out, but it looks exactly the same as this one here. And then he also comes, you know, with this kind of open, uh, kind of grappling hand, I want to say, kind of look like, and that's kind of the other one that he has on here on this hand, but uh, this one I just have off to the side just because I really don't want imposed with the uh, different types of hands. And the reason he comes with uh, the two different pairs of hands too is because this guy goes with that um, Predator Blade vehicle that came out, and um, this is the main guy that, you know, pilots it, I guess. So uh, you can have the different types of hands to, like, grip the um, throttles or pretend like he's, you know, pressing buttons for the controls and stuff like that. And uh, one thing that I wish every NECA Predator had this feature, again, it's, it's, it's something that, you know, it's understandable why they don't do it, like with the wrist gauntlet bomb self-destruct device thing. Uh, but, you know, it's something that will go a long ways with fans, in my opinion anyway, is that this guy does come with a uh, mask. He does come with a removable mask, and it does pop right onto his face just fine. Now, I wish, now that is one thing, again, I, I'll say I wish every NECA Predator had a feature to where they came with a mask. That would be kind of cool, because then you could display them with or without the mask. Just gives them a little bit more, um, I don't know, oomph to the figure, I guess. But uh, just to go over his mask really quick, very nicely well done. Very different and uh, more... Uh, uh, different looking than your classic Predator masks. You know, it's black all the way around with uh, pretty much some silver highlights here and there. Uh, the eyes are kind of like, almost like a goldish, copperish kind of look. And, uh, you know, you got the laser pointer up here inside. But even on the inside of the mask is very well painted and detailed. Uh, very nice silver all along the inside with some red highlights here and there. 
so you get to kind of see the inner workings of his mask. That's very cool, in my opinion. That's cool that they did, you know, both sides, and they just didn't leave this side, you know, just bland and plain. That is cool that they went uh, that far with uh, d all the detailing on the inside. Hopefully it's showing up on camera well, you guys. Again, I got a new, you know, I got a new angle and kind of area since everything got switched around me to work at, so... um I'm just trying to do my best here with uh, the area that I have now, but hopefully, you know, all this is showing up good on camera. But, um, you know, very nice mask, all in all. And just to show you what it looks like on his face, now easy it pops on. Just goes right on his face, just like so. And it fits very nice and snug, too. It's not loose. I mean, look, I'm really shaking the crap out of him, and it's like it's not even coming off. So, uh, you know, the mask does fit very nice and snug. Uh, not a problem. Now he's not going to want to stand for me. There we go. But there he is with the mask on. You know, very cool looking. I have him displayed with his mask off, but I have him holding it in, like, his hand and stuff like that. So that's very nice. But, uh, you know, again, very nice feature. It would be cool if all of the uh, NECA Predators came with the uh, removable mask feature. I, again, just my opinion, I think it would go a long ways and it'd be pretty cool. They might have to, like, up the price of the figures, though, because, you know, coming with another mask or another accessory, of course... We gotta charge more money. Okay, anyway, um, now getting on to the last thing, which would be scaling. Um, you know, I'm just gonna scale him with another Predator. Now, this guy I did get yesterday, but I just, I, I was just a little too tired to do a box day for him, so I apologize for that. Um, you know, I just ended up kind of being a little lazy, and I just really didn't feel like doing a box day video, but I did get this guy in the mail yesterday. So I'll size comparison up with another Predator, which they all size pretty well with each other. See, now you're not wanting to stand for me. You're just falling backwards. But um, here he is sized up to the NECA Elder Predator from Predator 2, and this is the uh, version 2 that uh, came out a little while ago. So there he is sized up with him. They're pretty much the same size, not too much of a difference between them. So he sizes up well with other NECA Predators. And just to size him up with my favorite actor of all time, just because he's part of the Predator franchise and he's part of the Predator figure line, here he is next to the Jungle Extraction Dutch figure. My favorite, my favorite and my only Arnold Schwarzenegger figure I'll ever need. This figure is astounding. I cannot wait till I get around to doing a review on this guy. But here he is sized up with Arnold himself. Very good sizing, I must say. You know, the Predator is, you know, a little bit taller than him, which, you know, is normal. He was taller than, you know, they are taller than humans in general. So, very nice sizing with uh, Arnold here. And, I'm, you know, I'm sure he would size in well with other kind of like G.I. Joe action figures that are kind of in the same scale. So, uh, other than that, you know, good scaling with other figures in the NECA Predator line. Not a problem whatsoever. But there you go, guys. You know, kind of short and sweet, you know review of the NECA Viper Predator figure. Hope you guys enjoyed, and um, I think that's all I got. I don't think I missed anything. But anyway, you guys, like always, we are Godzilla Fan Freaks. Hope you enjoyed this review. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video review. Thank you for watching.